Hi, my name is McCall and I'm the Queen of Rocks. And today we're gonna to talk to you about spirituality versus religion. Interesting, isn't it? Because you're very spiritual. If you're religious, you're spiritual. But if you're spiritual without a religion, then there's a disconnect there. Well, I think that there's a big difference in there. There, Let's look at past history. People were more barbaric in those days and they created a, let's say, a governing, a governing uh, body. The governing body was religion. And at that time, they then also segregated them, right? So this is Muslim, which not supposed to like Catholics or Christians, and then they separated many, many different ways. And then the Jews, then they, they're separated. So now we're talking about segregation. So if you really trail it back to history, it's very, very interesting about how this governance at that time using spirituality using God as the ruler and then all of his ruler humans um, to make sure that that happens right even the Roman time sacrificed um, uh, Yeshua which now is called Jesus Christ but sacrificed Yeshua and used two years later uh, used the face as the martyr right to pray to that person two, three hundred years later. And how that created a interesting business with tithing. And so there's a lot of stuff when you start looking at religion and how it kind of can morph into what other people think. Where spirituality has got nothing to do with thinking. In fact, get out of your brain and going into your heart. And they say the largest and the longest journey in your life is from your head to your heart. And a lot of the work that I do actually is opening up the heart to be able to have a direct connection with spirituality. So a direct connection between you and your creator, you and cosmos, you and whatever it is you wanna call that energy being um, that brings in true love in your life, true love in your life. We can never ask another human to give you happiness but happiness comes from within there's a soul that you have within you that is connected directly to spirit whatever name you want to give it god even buddha even yeshua even muhammad it's all the same because now it's all energy right everything is energy so how do we connect to that energy that source that can give you everything that you want love, support, guidance, truth, humility. It's incredible. And if you go in that direction, spiritually, without a dogmatic system, but you might have a, a guide that can direct you a little bit, but innately it's between you and God and nobody else. And the second you find that your teacher is no longer a student is when you walk away and find a new teacher that will teach you and elevate you to your next level. And that is beauty. That is true humbleness. That is true um, your legacy, your legacy work of divine connection, being that divine person, connected consciously person on earth, helping others and being that way shower, the light worker. You can put a name on anything, but really innately it's between you and your creator. And that has nothing to do with religion at all. If that helps you bring that in, that's wonderful. And if you find that there's some spots that are maybe missing, then you go in that direction and find and fill in those spots. And that's it. It's just between you and your heart. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you know what to do. DM me. I'm more than happy to guide you if I can. 
Thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.